Series loss, um, it hurt because that season for me was you know, the start of my love for wiffle ball. Mm -hmm. And going in, I'm like, no better way to end the start of this league than with us being champions. We couldn't get it done, but I think our loss in that only made us more hungry going into next season. It, we, we needed our revenge and we needed it now. The 2020 World Series loss, that was, that was tough. I mean, I think that the Nighthawks were a better team. They were loaded that year, but um, it was just really tough to lose that one. It would have been nice winning the first year. It would have been really nice, but I think um, that, honestly, I think it came out the right way. So after that loss, you know, I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, Maybe, maybe I just blow this whole thing up. And Anthony came up to me and said, Nick wants out of the Nighthawks. Would you be willing to trade well? The uh, off-season Nick and Will trade, I had very little to do with that. It was mostly um, Brady and Nick and Anthony. So I had to think about that. And it was, I wouldn't say it was close to happening, but it was definitely a thought in my head that it's like, okay, that's there if I want it to be. Honestly, I think that it worked out for the best because I wanted me and uh, Brady to have another shot at the title. I think I'm happy. You know, I made the right move with the Nick and Will trade. I'm happy I kept you because look how it turned out for us and look how it turned out for them. Welcome to the 2021 EBWL draft. So going into the draft, we thought uh, we thought we were going to take Brian Hall because he was, you know, a strong kid. He's a, I'm pretty sure he's good at baseball. So, you know, I, th I thought maybe that was the move, but then we get there and we have some prospects there, Dylan Murphy and Luke. And it's one of these things where we're throwing the ball with Luke and he's a funny kid. He's a comedian. Were you surprised that you moved up and went second overall to the Eastern Elks? I wasn't surprised I didn't go first and utterly pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'd rather have that on the team. I can't take credit for making that pick because Will pulled me aside and goes, I don't want I don't want Brian. We want Luke. Luke's an Aski. I saw a lot of potential in him. Um, he was the one I trusted to show up every day, which is very important. Um, if we if we pick the guy that was the best fit and show up, I mean like what's the point of that draft pick? So um, I think it was I think we made the perfect choice. Welcome back to EVWL 2021. Today we have the second series of the season, Eastern Elks and Western Wolves. What was the goal for the Elks? I'm here with Will Vermint, Eastern Elks player. My championship. 
That's it. Of course, you know, in classic Wolves fashion, their number one pick didn't show up this game. Let alone the whole season. Will is in limbo. Sanatki sends that one out the park. I, I knew going in we were going to kill him, but the way we did kill them was amazing. It was nice just to get into the win column and get out to an early uh, jump in the season. Like, you know, coming out of that series, Will hitting four home runs, Luke hitting two, me hitting two, we were just knocking the ball around. I thought, wow, this year's going to be cakewalk. What do you think the limit for you guys is this season? I don't think we have a limit. I think right now we're, we're, the, we're the hottest team in the league. I think the Nighthawks should be nervous for week two. Going into the series, uh, week two against the Nighthawks, I thought that we had a good chance of upsetting them. Um, I thought that they, they didn't show a lot of strength in their week one win versus the Serpents because they're not such a strong team. So I thought that there was a lot of room that we could uh, get some runs and really um, step on their throats. But um, I, guess I, I guess we were wrong. So going into that series, you know, rematch of the 2020 World Series, I thought, um, I thought we were gonna kill him. I'm being honest. I was riding such a high off that Wolves thing, and from going facing bad pitching to good pitching, it killed me. I think I went 0 for 17. I didn't get a hit. It was just the worst day of wiffle ball ever because it was Father's Day too. And it was just. Man, it was horrible. Was the week two loss against the Nighthawks a wake-up call? Yeah, I think it was. I think that, um, I think it definitely showed me that I had some room to improve where I didn't realize I did. So I think that, um, especially with me and Brady, I thought, well, I thought we were gonna um, roll right over them. Listen, it was, it was a wake-up call, you know? Having, seeing Will pitch, and pitch good, but seeing them hit the ball, and then when I go in, they kill me. So it's one of these things where it's like, all right, you know, Will is the ace on this team. I need to put all my trust into him. And moving forward, we, we can't we can't be embarrassed like that again. So the All Star break, it was that was a dub week. Billboard, baby, do a leap and make them dance when it come on. Everybody looking for a dance floor to run on. That's one. That is two gone on. The All Star break for me was just honestly, I call that the turning point of the season. That's it. Gone. Gone. That gone. 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 That's gone. Harry secure. Brady secures a spot in the next round because that motivated us with me winning the home run derby. Brady takes this one in the finals, and then us winning the game. It's up in the air. Summers for the game. And they win! You know, that motivated us perfectly. Like, we now thought, alright, we never beat these guys. Like, whenever we play the National League, like, mess around in the backyard with Anthony and Nick, we never win. National League takes the series after winning 8-3 to three in the third game. So winning this, you know, it was awesome. You know? The All-Star game, it was actually kind of fun because I think it really showed me how much, how strong I was as a pitcher getting that win. Um, I think it really helped me with the pitching confidence, which is good because honestly, it's all about this. I see that as a turning point for us and the Nighthawks because the Nighthawks, after that, went downhill. I'm done, not gonna sweat this at all. We have the Western Wolves next week. Crush! Get And I attribute a lot of that to, uh, that also, though. We're tied with the Serpents going in. Um, I think that we should have killed them early and then just didn't stop. So yeah, going into that uh, that series, you know, we both did the same things so far. At the All-Star break, um, 
We were both three and three. We were both tied. But I knew we were better than them. And I know the records, uh, record sheet didn't reflect that. So it was time to show that we were better than them. And yeah, we did. The whole Nolan Murphy thing in the top of the third of that game, that was just nuts. That was unbelievable. I mean, with me, honestly, I was so down in that inning, like that top of the inning. I was like, I can't believe we're losing this team. They stink, we stink. We're down, we're down to the serpents. Like we, we took care of business in the first two games, but now we're down against them. And with him up, I'm like, okay, there's, we might actually lose this game to the serpents. And then I just see him, I see Sean, you know, hang a slider. He's been throwing that all day. And Nolan just puts bat on ball, flies, I'm on second base, it flies right over my head. And I'm watching that thing. I'm like, there's no way that just happened. So that was awesome. Uh, that was another, like, dude, I think after the All-Star break, our momentum just kept building. So having that happen was just a huge momentum shift in that series to win that game. And I think for the whole season. Do I think after week three, we could have gotten the one seed? Um, I don't know, it was kind of tough to tell because the Nighthawks had a really strong year up till that point. Um, and we had a really strong year up to that point. And I thought that, especially since they smoked us in the, um, the, in the earlier in the season, I thought that they would have just run away with the first seed and then had like a back to back year. but. I guess, um, I guess that didn't turn out the way they wanted. <laughs> the Southern Serpents sweep the Northern Nighthawks. A big game coming up in Elks vs. Wolves next week. The final game of the regular season. If they Elk sweep, they get the first seed. So yeah, seeing uh, the Serpents actually sweep the Nighthawks, that was like, okay, the one seed is now possible. We gotta go out there and get it. You know, I was looking forward to enjoying that series against the Wolves, having some fun, you know, messing around, but now it was showtime. We needed to, uh, you know, make a statement, get the one seed, because we are the best team in the league. We gotta prove it. And hmm, that's what we did. The Wolves were easily beatable. If we just hit and hit and hit, no, nah, didn't look back. That's the end of game two. The double play right there clinches the one seed for the out. See you All in right, the playoffs. Playoffs. Ah! playoffs time.